that it would help gain traction. As a rider, yeah, you might just go up uh, Atherton, frankly, and just you know hop on Al Alameda. Uh, so we're not saying that this is the literal route that you might take. I see. Um, but it's the one that we think has the most value uh, from a prior from from improving uh, well, these facilities. There's definitely a school up on Camino you know, Lago, so it makes sense to highlight it for that. Time. And it goes by the town center, right? And what we say, in the, and what we say in the plan is, you know, generally, we, uh, this kind of follows the, the flood channel, and, and so conceptually, you know, we're trying to follow the water down from, from the from the ridge. Um, but I, I think it's it's a, it, it can be flexible, and, and if, if you want us to consider other routes, but you know, we, we try to not be hard and fast. This is the route. It's more of you know, certainly through the civic campus, the park area, and marsh. We want to focus there on walk-ins and walk-ins as well, and then see where it takes us from there. You know, sort of heading up this, towards the ridge. But one of the things is that the Tour de Menlo, which they have periodically, comes down here, shoots down here, and just uses this, and then they shoot off on Orange to get over to Alpine. That's essentially what they do. So why we would invent a new one that would go this way? Well, so well, so a couple. Yeah, we're going to do something. Yeah, so we're going to do something. Well, we don't have to. We don't have to be able to. Right, right on the Abington side of Alpine. And Valparaiso is being improved. The okay. bike. It's already being improved, and as a pedestrian, I'm not, I'm not clear that you'd want to take that same route. Um, okay. And, uh, you know, I think to the extent that we can begin to encourage a bit more cycling off Valparaiso, um, just that corridor has a lot going on now, particularly around school times. Okay. Um, but your, all your points are correct in that, you know, we're not saying that Valparaiso is not the, the better route to get out to uh, Alpine and, and probably would be used by most cyclists, but it's not. You've already kind of been successful at, at gaining uh, funding to improve that corridor. Maybe C Casey, if I can ask you to pause for a minute, ask uh, Mr. Mayor. In the interest of time, you know, it might be useful because you've all got the, the document to take the rest of this time for you to ask questions of our consultant. Again, this is a work in progress, so um, you know, and I appreciate your, your great presentation, but I think. Lord, might thanks. be best to hear from Council. Thanks for jumping in. Please, you have a comment, please. I just thought it was really interesting and 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 and, and really good. Firstly, this is really great. This is just so. I walk my dogs. I I bike. Can't tell you how many times I've almost been hit on a car mix. So I'm. This is fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, with the diaphragm that you have up here going down. You know, a lot of and those quieter streets, which we, are, are, are wonderful to bike. What it does really highlight is the fact that we do have issues with the intersections of Alejandro and El Pino and um, Watkins and El Pino. And, you know, those are issues for both pedestrians, bike riders.